We're going left. Here we go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> RX8. Let's go, dude. What is up guys? Welcome back to another daily build video. This time we're checking out the Mazda RX-8. Now you might be wondering why the RX-8? Well, with the upcoming Summit being themed with uh, Black Panther and Stereo Online, I figured we'd probably be exposed to some street tier two Japanese cars. So I went down the line and there's a bunch of RX-8s in this game. There's a bunch of different variants. So I decided to test the base model first and then I'll work my way down the line. And what I'm finding is that the RX-8 is actually fairly fast, but it has a very strange handling model. Like, it actually oversteers to a point where, like, you don't want it to. It oversteers after you're done steering. It's very strange. The back end also is extremely, extremely loose. You might not be able to see it in these clips on what you're seeing behind me, but this car is extremely loose in the back end, so we had to do some major changes with the pro settings for the car now what you're watching is me trying to get a clean run here on groundworks but notice the back end gets real loose so you may think that that's because of the tune it's not that's how it is stock if you drive the car stock you're gonna find out this car is just very loose it wants to be almost like a drift car and obviously this is not a clean run so we might as well just stop it here and finish talking about the car for the video so the back end is very loose. It's a problem that you have to solve with the tuning, and it cannot be solved completely. You can make some changes. You can make the back end a little stiffer, give it a little more grip. You can actually take grip away from the front end, which is what I've done, in addition to adding grip to the rear. And that still doesn't solve the problem. It makes it feel a little bit better, but it doesn't solve the problem. That actually did allow me to run a decent time of 217.966 on Kyusha Spirit, but it's just very difficult to drive this car. I actually think the car has a lot of potential in the right hands. You put it in the hands of somebody who can actually handle the car a lot better than I can, and I'm sure they're gonna run really, really good times on these races. I'm a little nervous to take this into a grand race, but I'm gonna do it anyway, obviously, because of the video, and uh, we're gonna see how we can do. But let me give you the tune that I've got. Like I said, I try to take as much grip away from the front end as possible without sacrificing too much in the ways of the lateral Gs and the ability to stick in the corners. Still feels pretty good in the corners, but I also added as much grip as I could in the rear. So that is what it is, man. Here is the tune for the RX-8. All right, starting off with the brake balance, we've got it at 59%. Let me move down into the aero. I've taken 15% away from the load rear. Trust me, go out, drive this car. Look at how twitchy it is. The front end just twitches like crazy and the back end is very loose. So you end up drifting a lot. Anyways, minus 15 on the front. Suspension is at minus 5 in the front, plus 10 in the rear. Minus 3 compression front, plus 20 in the rear. Minus 4 rebound front, plus 20 in the rear. And then you've got plus 10 on the ARB front, minus 10 on the ARB rear. The alignment is minus 0.25 on both. Now I've played around with a lot of these settings, just trying to get it to feel a little bit better. This is the best that I've been able to get it to feel over 121 miles. Now who knows, maybe I change that in a future date, but for right now, for this summit, if we end up using this RX-8, I'm just guessing at this point because it's a Street 2 Japanese car. But um, yeah, if I end up changing it, you'll see it in the Summit Guide. So there we go. All right, let's go off for a Grand Race. This will be fun. All right, this is going to be interesting. We got the RB14, then the Gordon Murray, and then we're into the Mazda, the wild Mazda RX-8. Let's see how this goes, man. AGP starts are really crazy, and I don't know how this one is going to go, but... We'll be, hopefully we're not killed in the first couple of corners. This is maybe one of the only spots that I like to reset um, anymore. We usually don't reset too much, but this corner, you really have to reset. You really have to. If you don't, you're in the wall 100%. Okay, let's stop talking and shift. All right, we reset, we're out front. Okay, we got pushed into the wall there. I had to break harder than I wanted to. Let's see if we can 
Oh, front end came up a little. We saved it. Stay inside here just in case the front end. Oh, into the grass we go. Again, dude, get out of the grass. All right, take it, take it. Take the position. I made too many mistakes there. All right, Parzal, let's get it, dude. You and me. Oh, we got someone behind us as well. I really made a lot of mistakes in that grass section. I should have been... I should be in first right now, but it is what it is. We are in contention, and that's all that matters at this point. A lot of people cut that corner. I don't like to cut it in AGP because uh, there's so much grip in AGP that it just really doesn't make sense to, to cut it. All right, into hyper we go. I took that a little bit slow. Uh-oh, there was a catastrophe behind me. I hit every single breakable on that corner. Sorry, they're going to catch back up. This is a highway section with hypercar. We're in the Gordon Murray, which is fast, but not as fast as Slipstream. Oh, a little wall tap there. That's it. Now they're really going to catch me. All right, let's pull it together here. Oh, 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 a little twitchy. I'm feeling a little rusty. Haven't played in a couple days. Oof. Let's just chill. Let's chill, dude. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling real twitchy with this hypercar. It's not feeling great. All right, we made it. That's the hardest turn. Here we go. Let's just keep it under control. Poof. Oh, oh. Oh, oh man, I'm feeling real bad in this car. Hyper is always the hardest category to get used to after taking some time off. If you're not feeling warmed up, which I am not, I just spent a little time testing the RX-8. I did not do any grand races before this one, and so I'm feeling a little rusty. We got some good NOS usage though, so I think we'll be okay. Ah, dipped our toe in the dirt there. Double downshift, let's hit it. That one, you always got to turn in a little bit sooner than you think. And then you blast it. So this is going into a street two transition. Either we're going left or we're going straight. And hopefully the RX-8 just handles it with ease. That'd be really nice. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling so twi twitchy. We're going left. Here we go. <laughs> RX-8. Let's go, dude. All right, dude. Let's get it under control. Here we are in the RX-8. This corner might be... Oh, it's stuck it okay, dude. 175 is really not bad. You gotta know the limits of the car. I was gonna say I'd be surprised if we didn't lose traction there. That's a that's a tough corner, especially with all the bouncing happening. We got Jackson right on us. Come on, RX8. Oh, give me some traction, dude. You see what I'm talking about? Now they're right on me. Am I gonna be able to defend? I don't think so, but we're going to find out, bro. Let's see if I can just use my my NAS usage here. 
and just stay ahead. I took that corner slightly better. Let's get in there. Come on, RX-8. No, don't fall apart now. Don't fall apart now. We got it, dude. We're going to hang on. We are going to hang on. The RX-8 for the dub. As long as I don't mess up this last couple section. <laughs> I said last couple section. <laughs> oh. I feel like I just barely survived that one. Uh, shout out to these guys for second, third, and fourth. Good race. Uh, I definitely think we were uh, <laughs> we were carried by the by the Gordon Murray a little bit. As you can see, the RX-8 is really not the best choice. It requires a little bit of a little bit of touch to drive. And uh, I encourage you guys to you know go out and get the car and, and give it a shot for yourself. It's not a very expensive car. Throw the tune on. If you don't like it, obviously find another one. I uh, I encourage you guys to do that. I think it's important to to find something that you like, not necessarily just my tunes, if that makes sense. But uh, I really do like the car. I like that it was, I like that it's pretty fast, but it's just so difficult to control. Like you have the amount of throttle control and precision you need in the corners on this one is um, is just maybe more than I like to uh, more than I like to try to put effort into with a car, just because there's so many other cars that don't require hardly any effort. To make those turns so you know if it's your favorite car obviously you can drive it um i was able to get a win out of it even though <laughs> i don't think it carried me um but you know it is what it is man uh i appreciate you guys watching and uh yeah give it a try thank you so much i will catch you on the next one trigger out